Hey everyone, today we're going to be coloring a beautiful watercolor piece of paper with watercolor pens. Only because I can't find my watercolors. I only have my old watercolors, which I probably won't use, but. Here they are, they're from Jen Crafts. Um, my watercolors are also from Jen Crafts. My new ones, I forgot what brand they are, but they work really good. I don't, the reason I don't like mine is that they're kind of dirty, but with this um, durability and that stuff, yeah, they're really good. They're, they crack sometimes, and the brushes aren't exactly what you call new. This brush is so stiff, I probably might have to throw it away. Now I'm going to go back. Okay. And about this brush. Uh, it's not bad. I'll keep it. But I won't use it because I have a new watercolor brush in here. Ta-da. Very nice. See? It's brand new. And I don't, it has no color in here. All right. <clears throat> First of all, I'm going to put them down with some scotch tape because scotch tape works. If you heard the rumors about them not working, it's not true. All right. Gives it a nice clean edge. I might have done this a little bit too long. Cut it. Ooh, it's pretty close, but... Alright, that looks great. On this side. Yes, perfect. All right. Now that I've done the edges, now we're going to start, like, I'm gonna draw something simple it's like a little i don't really know how to explain it like my name but calligraphy like but i put it the wrong way so let's turn it around just my regular name with lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of details and just some illustration oops Let's take out the corners, maybe. How do I do this? I really don't know what I'm doing right now. No, wait. No, 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 not like that, not like that. Peeling away the paper. All right. Uh -huh. Yeah. Good. Now I know what I'm doing. All right, now I'm going to face it like this. Looks great, and then I'm gonna drink, drink a smoothie. I always drink a little bit of some nice cold drink before you do it because uh, liquid, or well, water to be exact, um, has your brain, gets, gives your brain more oxygen, did blah 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 stuff. But, uh, so what I have here is a nice new brush. Has enough water, probably. Um, I'm gonna start with like a nice pink color. I'm gonna add in some color. I'm gonna add it onto the edges. Not like onto the edges, but like 
being making it like really light kind of thing spread it multiple times so that it goes onto the nicest shade like you see this and this but be quick because if you don't be quick then it might sink into the paper too much and then you have like a too dark thing Okay, this part's like a little too light. Oh, okay, now that's what I'm talking about. Let's add some little bit more water. If you don't add enough water, then it probably won't blend well. Uh oh. Yeah, that's exactly what happened to me. <sighs> Refill it every single time. Now I have to refill this part. Okay, now that's too wet. My hand hurts. But I won't give up. Okay, I think that's enough water. Just like add a little teeny tiny more. Okay. To me with my right hand, I can do it with my left hand, but it's not as pretty as my right hand. So I'm just going to stick with my right hand for now. Looks good. Do last part. And then we can go on to the other part. You can never do this with the watercolor pens. The watercolor pens like have more detail, but these you can use for background. It's better to use for background anyways. And it's just better. Okay. And now I'm going to go dry this off, wash it off. I'm gonna bring out the paper towel over here actually. I'm back. I cleaned the towel. I mean the brush. It has a little bit of pink on the edges, but that's okay. Pink it's pretty anyways. Okay, now roll it in like a slightly wet um, toilet paper and then put it back in. You might heard you might have heard this trick for like regular old paint and trust me it works for white colors too. Right, now wipe away the excess paint from the edges. Beautiful. Looks great. Now, I'm going to write my name with this. And the problem is I have 100, no, 112 lovely colored pens. I really don't know what to use. I'm going to go outline it and see. This color, it is called, well, I think it's called, that is, 
Um, let me see. Grape. Well, it looks like grape. Do it. Um, yeah, it's like grape. Grape is this color right here. Um, it's kind of dark, but it's okay. But it's like really light. F A I T H. All right. That's the beginning. First the layer, and I'm going to go down to where my favorite color is. My favorite color is called pink plush. Pink flush is right, where is, it? where is it, right here. This is pink flush. I'm gonna keep this in my lap. I have to be very careful and, oops, I made a mistake. Trace like right over this thing. Gives it a nice double look. See, now for the last one, I'm going to pick something not that dark, but not that way either. <clears throat> Just regular. Um, I have two of the same color. That's kind of weird. It's like deep violet, but it's not that deep. Okay, this gives it like a nice dark tone vibe. I feel like this shouldn't be the last one. I'm gonna add like a bluish shade into it. No, that's too light. That's like way too light. Oh, yeah, this one's fine. What color is this? I feel like this is. Yes. This is cobalt teal, hold on. Yeah, right there, this one. <gasps> Okie dokie, you know that? Makes it look way darker than it's supposed to be. I'm gonna just add like hints of it, like shadows, kind of thing, you know what I mean? Cause this is like really, really goes like really dark into this. All right, now that's enough. It looks really good. It looks like tie dye actually. All right, now I'm going to pick my favorite reddish color. Red color. It is what is this? No, it's not coming. Red orange. Red orange. How I do this is I match the tip color. It's like really hard to know because it doesn't list the name, but I don't care. This and this are the same. Gen Crafts and Genuine Crafts are basically the same. They are the same because they have the same logo. But, um,. These don't come with the same. I get I got these when I was like, I don't know, six, seven. I'm nine now. I got these for my ninth birthday. So these are new, and I don't think they'll ever get dirty, but these do get dirty. Oh. Anyways, let's I'm gonna draw like a heart. Like hearts in random patterns near this. I'm gonna have like one right there. Really teeny tiny one though. And I'm not like a regular size heart right there. These look like blood splatters. But in the end with some sparkles, they look great. I feel like against this background, it looks good too. And the last one right there. Actually, no, so I'm gonna get like 
one right there, and one right here, maybe like one right there, yes, oh, MG, it looks great, um, now I'm going to put, like, little purple confetti spots, Huh, this color is not bad, but I like this color better. Um, let's see. <coughs> mm, sorry. Um, it's like amethyst. Actually, no, it's, it's royal purple. Well, purple is like at the top, so I have to like switch it around to find it. This color. Alright. I'm gonna draw like some dots. Dots. Dot. Dot. It's kind of hard drawing darts. I mean, dots. Because dots, you have to like stand your paper, sh the pen straight, and then you just pop, pop, pop for it. This, the hearts and other stuff. Like stars, they take like really good focusing. Well, not like focus, focus. It's like focus, and then the other one's just like da 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 da. Okay, fine, I'm done. You know. Alright, let's put one right there. It's like too crowded, so I'm just gonna put one right there. This one here, and this one here. Alright, I'm done. And what else? I feel like I should do something with green because I have like so much greens. Um, I'm going to draw like a little leaf shape for green because I do love nature. Uh, I'm going to use these, this dark rich green. Right now that I think about this, it's getting kind of dark. It's okay. Okay, this takes focus, focus, focus. So I'm just gonna be really focused on this. I'm gonna put one right in here for no exact reason, just because I just want it there. I feel like there should be more over here. Okay, now these are gonna slowly turn into hearts because I have like a heart one right there. Okay, there's three in a row over there. I don't want that anymore. All right, now over here is missing some. Okay, it looks good. It looks like it's in a tornado. I bet I probably have added like too much leaves. All right, so I have red, orange. That's like red, orange. So red, orange, yellow. I can't add yellow because that's too light. Um, green. Yes, I have green. Blue. No blue. I'll come to that later. Pink. Yes, I do have a lot of pink. And purple. Yes, I do have purple. So the only color left is blue because I'm doing the color. And I'm, I don't want to add any color blacks or browns in it because I'm not really like a fan of dark colors. Um, there is like a pure black in here though. I'm gonna put like my name right here down at the bottom, but either way. Uh, I have this. No, it's too dark. Oh, yes, I have this. Um, <clears throat> I'm gonna add, I don't know. Oh, I like blue and purple dots. Now this looks like purple. You can't really tell, but I do have blue in here. Oh yeah, because blue and pink makes purple. Oh my goodness. I shouldn't have added this. There's a fine dot over there. I'm like adding lots of dots. Add 
one in there. So the little leaf won't be lonely. I'm like adding so much. This is the most focused drawing I've ever did, except for those paint my number things. I didn't even finish that one. Bro. Look at this. It's so busy. I feel like this is like the most focused one that I've ever did like by myself. Not like by myself, but like without somebody telling me what to do. Like those instruction things, kind of like art Lego. You know? That stuff. I'm going to add a few more in here. Some here, maybe some right there. Shoo, this is busy. I don't know what to say about this. This has turned into modern art, into a very busy faith tornado. I don't, I don't care <clears throat> because it's all about me and okay there's some outskirts over there so I have to finish that. I'm sorry we can't like really see anymore. I mean like really well if like my hand's blocking it. I'm sorry but I don't really have good camera photo techniques. Oh no. This part's too country like. I want everything to be bustling like in the city. Oof, I made one like a little bit too close to the heart. Alright. Ooh, yeah. That part needs. Now that I think about this, this is like really relaxing. Not becoming one of my most focused drawings and that stuff. Right. And maybe one more over there. No, it's one over there. Yes. And like that. I am now very glad to say that I am done. Let's peel this thing off. <gasps> slowly. Very slowly. No. This peels off like a little teeny tiny layer of the watercolor paper. No, don't peel off my beloved paper. Okay. I'm very good at this. This is my first watercolor drawing that I've ever done with the tape and everything like that and with the watercolor paper. So I'm glad to say that I feel that I'm a pro at this. This is, must be dry now. Yes, it's probably dry. I'm gonna put it back with my new pen things. <laughs> Stuff. I'm gonna close this back. Eh. This isn't even closed correctly. Whatever. It's okay. It won't affect me. It back in there, and I'm gonna pull up the screen. Sorry, I, I forgot to pull up the screen. I was so excited before. Okay, this is really good. I'm gonna show it to you in three, two, one.
Ta-da! It looks like a logo for me. I wanted it to be like splattered out, but now that I feel that the hearts are like in a circle, it makes it look good. So I'm really, really happy to say that this is going to be one of my 10 out of 10 drawings and one of my first 10 out of 10s that I did with watercolor. Well, my first, not one of my first. I got you liked it. Please tell me in the comments below if you like it or if you didn't like it or should I improve it. Pretty please. Anyways, bye bye.